What's up, all you YouTubers? It's Trace Face. I am up. I believe it's like, uh, I don't know, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, something like that. I think it's, I think it's like closer to 2. I can't see the time right now. Um, I passed out pretty early tonight. I, um, did my class and came back and <laughs> fell asleep actually on the, on the chair. So, you know, I was really tired to do that. Um, and so now I'm up and I cannot sleep. Look at my wild woman hair here. Um, so I thought I was thinking this morning, I'm watching some, some videos here on YouTube and, uh, I'm thinking about character and, um, the words that are coming to mind are character and personal integrity. And, uh, and what I want to say is that, uh, these narcissists out there, okay, um, they, they have a choice to be this way, all right? And I know that uh, um, they have bamboozled a lot of people into thinking that, that you know, um, that, you know, they're this way because of what happened to them in their childhood and yada, 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 you know? But what I want to say is people still have a choice, okay? No matter what happened to you, um, okay, because I had a lot of, I had a lot of crazy stuff happen to me as a child. Um, and I don't go around trying to seek out, uh, hurting people and get enjoyment out of hurting others. Um, so, so what I want to say to all of you is that it, they do have a choice. You, you can talk to so many people out there that have become successful and, um, and, and, you know, it got to a certain point where they, they had, they had a choice. They could, they could have sat and wallowed in what happened to them as children, or they could have turned around and said, I'm never going to let that happen. I am never going to be my father or my mother or whatever it is that, you know, that happened to them, or I will never do what my best friend did to me, or I will never treat me the way my older brother treated me growing up. It, whatever it is that you'd want to say that happened to you, you st you have that opportunity, okay? That is why I do believe these people are truly evil. Uh, and I know that m most of you that have have any type of experience with these people for a long period of time can attest to that. Uh, and so, you know, they do have a choice. Don't ever, ever forget that. You know, and I, and I know that a lot of us stayed because we felt so sorry for them, listening to their stories, uh, you know, understanding, having that understanding and trying to have that understanding as to why they do the things they do. But it never, ever, ever, ever gives somebody the right. Okay, it never gives somebody the right to try and purposely hurt their partner or the, the whoever it is that they're after. Uh, to target, whether that be in the workplace, whether that be to come home and have that bully, you know, narcissists are psychological bullies. Okay. That is what they are. That's what they do. They're always thinking ahead as to how can I gain control? How can I get the upper hand? How can I uh, make this person feel like absolute crap because they got away from me? Um, you know, how, how do I win the game? This is all the stuff that goes through their head all the time. They are living in a forever haunted house. These people, their head is a haunted house. It goes back and forth between a haunted house and a fun house that's going on in their head. Okay. Uh, these people are clowns. They are absolute clowns. Their life is, is a clown show. Okay. You know, everything is, is got to be, look at me, look at me, look at me. Hey, are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? Because I, I need all of you to be looking at me. Um, so, you know, it is a choice. They have the opportunity to, to get some help and seek inward, but most of them don't want to because it is too dark of a place. So they'd rather go hide 
Go run and hide somewhere else. Go start somewhere else with some with somebody else. That's what they're doing all the time. It's what they're doing. And they, they are forever preparing for the worst case scenario in their life, uh, which is why they're so self-sabotaging, which is why that they, they uh, you know, their life is forever on repeat because the, it's an inward downward spiral that they, they go through every day. The voices in their head that talk to them, you know, uh, narcissists are extremely dark individuals and they like being that way. They like the dark. You're going to find them always wearing sunglasses. They always, they always wear their sunglasses. They, uh, they wear dark clothing. They are, uh, they're dark individuals. Um, and the few, the few opportunities that they'll admit anything because they're, they're not going to admit the, the sincere darkness that's going on within, within them. They're not going to admit that to anybody, how bad it really gets in, in their head and how evil and how dark it gets in their head. They're not going to admit that, but it does. Okay. And, um, again, they, they like that. They don't want to know anything else. And when there are opportunities for peace and harmony and happiness, they're not going to t t tolerate that for too long. That doesn't feel right to them. They don't want that. That's boring to them. They need forever entertainment, drama, uh, continuous drama. Uh, and they're looking for someone that's going to get on their Ferris wheel and go around and around and around the ride. And, um, I'm going to tell you right now, they do, they, they can't, because they are so dark and diabolical and evil. Yes, they are truly evil people. Um, and it took me a long time to be able to say that and to, to recognize it and to know it. And I'm going to tell you something, when you get out, all these things that you have buried come back to the surface, um, because you're normal and your your mind and your body and your soul are trying to 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 deal with that the things that you did bury the memories that you conveniently forgot of of things that happened because that's all part of their game it's very serious twisted evil stuff that is going on and how they are trying to make you, you know, dumb down what they did. Um, their favorite thing to do is to, is to pull these terrible, horrible stunts. You get a little piece of, you know, the puzzle. And all these pieces that you know things aren't adding up. But they will forever make you feel like you are, are stupid. You, uh, you, don't, you don't know what you're talking about. You just want to, you're the one that's, that's being dramatic. You know, the projection, they're projecting what it is they're doing onto you. Um, you're the one that's probably cheating, you know, and it, and it, and it will go on like this. And again, you get so messed up in your head. You, you don't know what, who, anything to believe. Your trust goes completely out the crapshoot, you know, um, so what I'm trying to say, uh, this morning as I'm up, I'm up and I, you know, my hair looks like a rat's nest. Um, <laughs> you can't, you know, I did this for a long time. I tried to, uh, I tried, you know, I remember one time I did ask my, uh, soon to be ex-husband, I was in a, I was just so distraught. I remember being just so, I just hit like, I couldn't believe this was happening to me again. I couldn't believe it. I, I was like, I think in shock for pretty much the entire seven year marriage. Well, you know, I think about six months into the marriage, I realized, you know, I didn't have a clue who, who this person really truly is. And, um, I remember like begging and pleading with him, like, tell, just open up. 
and tell me what's going on. I'm your wife. Like, let me be your friend. Let Like, tell me what's going on with you. And I'll never forget it. He looked at me and he said, it's very, very dark. It's a very, very dark place. And you want to know something? It was. It is. And and the things that, that come back into my head now, again, that I, I try to bury. And he did a good job burying, you know. Um, but they're coming, th- these flashbacks and these moments of, of recognizing how bad it truly was have been coming back to me um, and, and making me see that uh, this stuff is very serious. And um, they will, they will, without a thought, they will put your life at risk. Okay, because they do not have that ability to care. These people live by the flesh. They are living by the moment. They live for the moment. They don't care. They do not care about you. They do not have that ability to care for another person. And it's taken me a long, long time to, to truly recognize that there are good people in this world and there are truly evil, bad people in this world. And that's it. And that's the wars that we go through. And that's everything else. You can sit there all you want and blame religion, blame politics, blame childhood, blame, uh, you know, circumstance, blame injuries, whatever you want to sit around and feel sorry for yourself for and give yourself excuses, Okay. But every single day, you, we all have the choice to say, I, I can do something good from this or I can continue to be evil. And that's all I wanted to say this morning as I'm sitting up and f- for whatever reason, these, these memories, horrible, horrible memories of, of what he put me and my family through. Um, as you know, as the holidays are approaching, you, I don't know, it's just... You, th- you know, I'm sitting here, I'm moving on with my life. I am, but, but these flashbacks, they, they are coming to me. Like, it's crazy. I, I don't know where and why, but they are coming back to me. And again, I think it's that full circle recognition of, you know, the divine trying to tell me, uh, yes, you know, what you read in the Bible is true. Everything that's in there, you know, the, you know, the people want to say it's parables and, it, and, and, and they're just examples and whatever else, but it's all been written. It's all been written about. And, um, and you'll find everything that we're talking about in regards to narcissism, you will find it written in the Bible. You will find it right there because it is an operation brought to you by by the most evil one himself and uh i hope to educate more people out there that this is a a real true honest spiritual warfare that we're seeing and uh you know you have to open your eyes to it because it exists there is a world that we cannot see but they can see us and they are forever trying to uh, hold us back, um, take us off our path, take out the light inside of us and bring out that darkness. They're looking for that. They want to take down, you know, the, the, uh, the good operation, the good people. And we can't let that happen. We have to Every day we have to stick together and help one another and, and try and help this, this place and help others that need our help. Not help others that are trying to fool us. We have to look out for the signs of evil people. That's what I wanted to say this morning. I am Trace Face, and it is time we all face the truth together. <laughs>